Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist Balesni. Today we see a new video with Asen, our chemist, and uh, so the experiment that we are going to do uh, is to prepare lemon uh, by an orange. So we are going to use uh, four oranges in order to extract enough uh, lemon, and uh, we are going uh, to extract it from the crust of the oranges. So let's see this experiment. So the procedure for the experiment is to first take four oranges, then we are going to peel the crust off and we are going to cut, them, cut it in small pieces, this way it is more reactive. Then we are going to put it in a boiling flask with 200 meters of water and we are going to extract the lemon through a steam distillation process. Then we are going to take the lemon which is mixed with water but actually it separates from it. So let's see this experiment. So guys, even though as an is the chemist, I'm trying to explain you what happened in the experiment. In fact, with steam distillation, we are able to isolate our lemon uh, because this wouldn't happen if um, it was only lemon present in this uh, in our bowl. And so this is also called a cold distillation. And in fact, uh, it is also similar to the azeotrop mixture. Uh, that in fact uh, it's the same procedure. In fact, another liquid enables the other one to boil. And so after we do this, we are able to isolate limonene also because the two liquids that are water and limonene have different uh, density and also they are not miscible each other. And so with this, uh, also with a string or uh, isolating limonene, we are able to take it in a pure form.
assignment is finally over because I said it's bored and uh, what we want you to know is that you have to be really careful with your condenser because it must not get uh, too hot so you have uh, uh, to check it uh, often and so uh, you have to be sure that it doesn't get uh, uh, to it. So uh, for today is over. So everyone, if you like this video, please let us know in the comments. Uh, and if you want to see a more amazing experiments like this, uh, go visit the page and subscribe to it. Uh, so for today's all, thanks for watching. <laughs>